Welcome to Bruce Park, which looks like most parks, except for one unique amenity, this red caboose. As you can see, this landmark was in need of some restoration. Thanks to a group of volunteers led by Jack's Parks, the Arlington Rotary Club, and CSX, this park was going to get a brand new look. I caught up with them on a foggy Saturday to find out more about this project from the service director of the Arlington Rotary Club, David Hacker. This has been here for, uh, I think, since 1954. A lot of the residents around here have grown up uh, going inside of this train. Uh, that being said, they also uh, know what it used to look like 20 years ago and know what it looks like now. It's kind of on the uh, outside corner of Arlington. This is, again, one of the focal points. I mean, not every park in the city has a, has a caboose out here. So um, it's something that uh, makes the area distinct and something we want to preserve and, and keep looking top notch. To do that, David enlisted the help of Mike Montanera, a retired CSX employee well known for his passion for restoring trains. Before I asked him about the project, I had to know, what exactly is a caboose? For those who don't know, caboose is the end of the train, or at least in the past it was the end of the train. It's where the conductor and the rear brakeman uh, did their, their duties on the train. Uh, back when trains were shorter, like a half mile long or whatever, that conductor could look out the window and he could see what was going on with his train. Since trains became a mile and a half long, no longer a need for cabooses. All right, good to know. Now, how do we go about restoring a caboose? Well, the process is going to take more than just today. Uh, we came in this past Wednesday and did some patching and uh, made some doors for the caboose. And next, we'll scrape and paint. And I'll come back at later dates to do the windows and complete the roof. Well, Mike was eager to get back to what he does best, restoring trains. So I did what I do best and stood behind the camera while he and other volunteers got to work scraping and scraping and more scraping. Finally, a break. I took that time to catch up with Arlington resident Victor Taylor to see why he volunteered to help with this project. Well, I might not have much to give back financially, but I can always give my time back to the community because volunteering and taking care of the community and taking pride in the community is what we need. So therefore, you know what I mean, we teach our kids something else and they continue on the legacy of taking care and taking pride and bettering themselves. And there's always room for improvement. And take a look at all the improvements that this public-private partnership between CSX, the Arlington Rotary Club, and Jack's Parks had on this caboose here at Bruce Park. It even included a new paint job for some of the park's other buildings. You too can make an impact by volunteering in your community. To get involved, go online to jacksparks.com or the City of Jacksonville's Volunteer Services page.